I'm here alongside Cincinnati cornerback Kobe Bryant. Kobe, in this championship game, you'll face the top scoring offense in the American. How does this Cincinnati defense continue to wreak havoc like you all have all season? Um, I would say the biggest thing is just us being competitive, you know, uh, going out each week, being the best we can be, and uh, just being the greatest. And I uh, know that everyone is going to come out and swing hard, so we have to be on our game. What's the mindset of being a defender on this 2021 Cincinnati Bearcats team? Uh, you should have that dog mentality, you know. Um, we, we come out each week to be great and uh, go out and set the standard not only for the defense but for the younger guys as well too. So, Speaking of one of those younger guys, uh, many analysts and coaches say that you and Ahmad Gardner are the best one-two punch in college football. Why do the two of you complement each other so well? Uh, just going back to what I say, you know, just having a dog mentality. Um, he's a great corner from day one. Uh, he compliments me, we comp I compliment him. Uh, we're just super competitive. Uh, you know, when the ball is in the air, we have that mindset that it's ours. And just know that at corner, you know, have to have, the, have that dog mentality and know that we got to be the best. So. How much have you been a mentor to him during your career here? Uh, you know, he's my little brother. Um, I've been the best mentor, I would say. Uh, hopefully he will agree with me too. So uh, I try to, you know, lead him and know that he's a leader to me too. So uh, we keep each other going. So. You're a finalist this season for the Jim Thorpe Award, given to the best defensive back in all of college football. What did you improve in your game to really get you to that level of success? Um, I would say, honestly, just being the best leader. You know, uh, the, the award is also for character. You know, uh, that was part of the reason why I came back uh, to be a leader and just to show guys in the room that, you know, you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. So that was the biggest thing. You mentioned coming back. You made the decision. You announced it one day after the Georgia loss, a three-point loss in that Peach Bowl. How much of that experience really drove you to want more this season? Uh, that was the biggest thing. You know, I didn't like how we how we left that last game. Uh, and then with COVID allowing me to have an extra year, I just felt like it was just meant to be. You know, uh, and back to what I was saying, just allowing myself to be a better leader for the younger guys. Um, and that's what I feel like I did. I, I've done this year, so. You'll walk out on the field on Saturday to play your final game at Nippert Stadium. When I say those words, what emotions are you feeling? Uh, it's crazy, you know, uh, for my actually final game. You know, last year I thought I was going to have the final game. And then, like I said, I came back. But it's, it's going to be crazy. You know, these five years have been a blessing as well as just a journey. So it's definitely going to be a blessing. What legacy do you believe that you'll leave on this program? Uh, just being a a leader, you know, and uh, just leading by example. I try from day one to lead the younger guys and, uh, you know, just have someone they can look up to and count on uh, to not only be a leader, but to be a big brother as well, so. Kobe, thank you so much for the time. Best thank of you. luck on yeah. Saturday.